No way. Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you have never been here before. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get like the 90s blowout type hair. I don't really know how else to explain it. A good example of this hair is probably Cher from Clueless. Ever since I watched that movie, I freaking love that movie. But ever since I watched that movie, I was obsessed with her hair and I wanted her hair so, so bad. And in one of my last videos, I followed like Madison Beer's Vogue makeup tutorial. And I did that in that video because Madison Beer kind of has like voluptuous hair you know and I wanted to try it out and I did it. it literally turned out so so good and a lot of you guys commented how did you freaking do your hair so I'm gonna be showing you that today this is my hair after I took a shower last night and I slept on my hair and then I woke up this is what we're starting with so my hair has a little wave to it especially underneath Okay, so I'm gonna go over all of the stuff you're going to need for this video. Pretty obvious, but first off, you're probably gonna need something to brush your hair through. I use a wide tooth comb. We're gonna need some clips just for sectioning and stuff. You could totally do this without clips and just like tie your hair up and stuff, but clips are so much easier. And for the longest time when I was like dyeing my hair a bunch, I didn't have clips. And I wish I could go back in time and be like, girl, like just buy clips. It makes everything so much easier. So what I'm gonna be styling my hair with today is <laughs> this Revlon hair blow dryer brush thing. If you're a watcher on my channel, you've probably seen this thing like a million times. I love this thing more than anything. But if you do not have that and you wanna do it more the professional way, because this is the professional way, go with a roller brush and a blow dryer. It's the same exact technique. You go like this with it, and you like go like that. This just takes way longer and I hate our blow dryer. It, I'm pretty sure this is over 10 years old. And then what you are going to definitely need for this, curlers. I used these, these are foam, well they're not curlers, they're rollers. I call them curlers, I don't know. These are foam rollers. They're squishy in the middle. These are good if you want to sleep in this overnight because you can totally sleep in this overnight and it'll last like way longer. And then these are harder rollers. You're going to need pins. I just go in with bobby pins. And then if you're doing this on dry hair, you're definitely gonna want a spray bottle of water. I think that's all the stuff that you need and we're just gonna get started. So I'm going to comb through my hair. What I always do when I do anything to my hair, when I curl my hair, when I blow dry it, I always start from the bottom and go up. Take my fingers and I go right here and I just go straight back. Okay, so I section my hair into three sections and I go one in the back and then two here. And for this look, this is like extremely important. This is like what gives this look this type of look. You take it and you are going to be rolling under not this way. You're going to be rolling under on everything on your head until we get to the curtain bangs area. And I'm gonna dampen it with water. And then we are going to take this. And then afterwards, I'm going to be going in with one of my foam rollers. And I'll show you how to do that when we get there. Now, we've created this little swoop at the end. I'm gonna take one of these rollers. I'm doing this all in the viewfinder, so hopefully I'm doing this correctly, but. You take it and you just roll it under the same exact direction. This is so hard in my viewfinder, hold on. But you're gonna roll it under. And these are pretty good at staying by themselves, but I personally pin them into place because I really don't want them to fall out. Take a bobby pin, I pin one on the top. I pin one so it's like attached to my head so it doesn't like get super loose and fall out. That is what that is like. That's pretty much it, what I do on the rest of my head. I will show you guys like me doing it. I am gonna fast forward through some of it because this would be a very long video. Oh. just finished that. 
And this is how it is. Totally missed the little piece right here. And honestly, it's small enough where it's like not really gonna matter. So I'm gonna ignore it. That's like pretty much it. And you just go around your whole entire head and do that. I go from like right here and take a section out. I have this weird thing where like the under layers of my hair are wavy and then the very top section is like straight so it looks like my hair is super straight and then you go like this and then I have waves underneath and this is also like brushed out waves like after a shower I comb through my hair and like I don't touch it at all and I don't sit on it my hair can get so wavy I need to get my hair done again really bad I am now noticing that this is like all my natural roots and then this is a shadow root and I need to get it touched up really bad. I actually might do a video on me touching up my balayage, so I might do that. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but right here, on like the underneath part of my hair, I still have so much pink in my hair because I had pink hair before this and it's just so funny because I never like notice and my toner has washed out so you can like really really see it now Now we're gonna work with the top section. We're gonna start from back here. So you're gonna take a slice from this section. Okay, so we have a section from back here now and we're going to blow dry it like this. It definitely can be an arm workout. Like my arms get so tired doing this, but, and then we are going to be taking my big roller and we're going to be rolling them underneath. <sighs> Dude, my arm hurts. Okay, but we're going to, we're going to do that. Okay, so now you're going to take another section. I also don't know how this would go if you had like super long hair. This would literally take forever. <laughs> this would take forever and I don't know how your hair would fit on the rollers, but I've seen people do it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this last section. I'm gonna get all of my curtain bangs out of it though. This is just me. Are you kidding me? This section is too big and it's annoying. Okay, so that one is always my biggest problem for some reason. It's because I have like, I have too much hair on the sides and I could probably put another roller right here or like make this section smaller, but it always ends up too big. And we're gonna do my curtain bangs now. I also have a whole entire video on how I style my curtain bangs. So if you wanna go check that out, I posted that. Okay, so now that we look insane, we got all of our curlers in. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait. What I usually do now, if I'm gonna go out and do stuff, I will go and do my makeup, which will take like around 10 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes is like, solid like that's good the longer you wait the better your hair is pretty much gonna look if you want to go out somewhere and you have nothing to do three hours before you're gonna go out like do your hair leave your hair sitting like this for like three hours and then you can take it out and it's gonna be super pretty i'm gonna go do my laundry <laughs> 
super fun. I will be back in probably 30 minutes to an hour. And then we will take this out and it's gonna be super pretty and I'm super duper excited. Okay, I'm gonna do a transition. I do it on TikTok, but we're gonna see if it works on here. I hope that worked. It's been probably like an hour and a half. I ate lunch and did all my laundry, so. What I like to do is I take dry shampoo and I just like, just spray some up in my roots because I am probably going to have this hair for three to five days depending on how oily my hair gets. Even though my hair isn't oily yet, I like to put dry shampoo in it before it gets oily so when my hair starts to get oily, it's instantly absorbed. So I'm just gonna take out the pins and start from the bottom and go all the way to the top. So pretty. Okay, so now for the top curlers. I had to pin these in so much because they kept falling out. volume the volume is here okay so for the last one my favorite one my curtain bangs oh okay hold on i am going to brush my hair out a little bit or i'm gonna comb my hair out a little bit because it can get a little tangled I poured my hair down the middle. So, um, that is pretty much how I get my 90s inspired blowout. I, I love this hair look. It just makes you look more put together, but it's not like over the top, you know? Is it? You can go in and you can put hairspray and all that stuff. I personally hate hairspray. It makes my hair feel gross and it dries my hair out. And I've just always kind of stayed away from hairspray. But if you like hairspray and you need hairspray, this would probably be the time to do it. Yay, I'm in love. I love this hairstyle so much. Okay, well that is pretty much it. And I hope some of you found it helpful. And if you do try it, you can always DM me a picture. My Instagram is Kaylee.boyle. Um, also, I'm trying to get my Instagram to 10k so if you would go and follow that I would greatly appreciate it if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and you want to see more from me you could subscribe I would love that I've been posting a lot more recently that's cool some of you guys have noticed and I'm so happy that some I've been getting comments like oh my gosh girl you've been posting more and I'm like yeah I have I love you guys so so much and I will see you in the next one I don't know if you like the way I put my words together But I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers But like bricks to scales, hand in hand Dropping corn shit down the well Wish me well, wish me well Ay. Always talking about the fishing scales Things that's gon' throw my mind off focus Probably what's gon' get my drug use more dosage Like I damn baby girl, I didn't think